Your album has been delayed numerous times. Can you tell us why? Yes. Um, well, I switch labels, I switch management, I switch lawyers. Now I own my own label. Um, I own everything. Um, so it was time to put out the record right now. Is it, how's, how's been your own boss now? It's great. <laughs> you know what though, I have to say, I still have a lot of people to talk to. I still have management, I still have lawyers. But creatively at least, I'm the one who can say, you know, what needs to happen here and there. Um, the record is, I think it's, I don't know if there's a real, the theme about it is just basically me being excited to come back out. I think um, the songs, some of the songs are aggressive, like I tried to do, you know, some records that I know people fell in love with me for from the Rough Rider days, like the lyrical stuff, and to where I am now musically. So, um, I don't know, I think it's a journey. I think, I think that's what it is, what it is, basically. I write from what either I've experienced, I know someone experienced, um, mostly from my own life though. Yeah, I hear it's not your first time in South Africa. How are you finding it the second time around? I love it. I love it. Second time here and I, I probably love it more this time than I did the first time because I don't think I had, I didn't get to spend as much time this time. Isn't it? Yeah. So what are you loving about SA? Just the people, the, first of all, the weather is perfect <laughs> right now. Um, the food is good. It's just a nice vibe, real nice vibe. When you go home, what do you take with from here? Just give it those presents to your um, friends and family. I don't know yet. I haven't gotten a chance to buy anything yet. Yeah. So I will definitely have to take some stuff though because people know I'm here. They're going to expect something. Okay. No, it's... Thank you.